Gentlemen, it is go time. My name is Todd Grisham. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. Todd, it's going to be an amazing night. As per usual, everybody's going to benefit. It's time for our tale of the tape. One of the best to ever do it. Carl, the Cobra Frosh. He comes in six foot one inches tall with a 75.2 inch reach. And his opponent, George St. George Groves. This former super middleweight world champion stands six. Carl, the Cobra Frotch, a super middleweight multi-time world champion. St. George, George Groves, this London, England native always brings the pain. He's a former super middleweight world champion and still believes he can get back on top. This is going to be an intense stale before the fight starts. And now for the official introductions. We turn it over to the world-renowned Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner... Introducing from Nottingham, England, a super middleweight champion of the world, Carl the Cobra Frost. Hiding out of the blue corner, a European, British, and Commonwealth super middleweight title holder from London, England, a super middleweight champion of the world, St. George Grove. Fans are ready, and it looks like the fighters are now ready. Todd, do you know when you've got two fighters there that really believe they're going to win, really want to get it on? This is when it gets stupid. And what I say you must obey. Good luck. Fight. These two fighters promised us an offensive show. Let's see if they deliver. Uppercut, the most difficult punch to land clean, and he just hit it there. Both men step back for just a moment. Nice counter. And this with that jab. Talk about massive interest. Their first fight, Groves versus Frotch, had over 80,000 people in attendance. This truly is one of the great rivalries in all of the UK. Fight number one didn't go too well. Fight number two, again controversy. 80,000 people in Wembley, he keeps on reminding us. Let's get it on. Neither man really defending themselves. around so far as we've reached the halfway point. Looks like this fighter did not work on defense this training camp. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. crowd here cannot wait. They've been buzzing all day long, and finally, we're about to get it on. It's so hot, it's so heated. There's a roof on here, you don't understand it. When you're working, when the noise is there, the pressure's on, you're thirsty, you're sweating, and you're getting on the, you're on the wrong side of a beating. This can be a hell fire on here. Nice punch. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. 
Very close round with 10 seconds to go. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt who won that round. Dominance, without a doubt, made it look so, so easy. I'm telling you, he's gone. Jump over. Here we go. Round two. Who's going to land the first big shot? Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Left punch. an eye on this slugger as you know he's willing to take three to give one that's his game plan and it's worked out pretty well for him so far terrorized them into not wanting to throw a punch because they don't even see the shot leaving why are they throwing punches they should be playing defense right now and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. Counter punch is my favorite kind of fighter. A good counter puncher there are people that make the history of our sport. This has been a very competitive round between these two. That left shot lands. And he caught George Groves big there. He's got a wounded animal right in front of him. Can he put him away? I thought that was the end, but here we go again. Back into the fire. George Groves, he's seeing stars. Rose goes down. One, two, three, four, five. That'll be a 10 8 win for sure with the knockdown. You've been put down, you've got to think right. Survive and then give it back the next round. On to the third. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. What a knockdown. You know in the corner now, they're saying, when you get out there, jump on him. Do not give him chance to breathe. Bully him, throw him, push him down, punch him in the back. Keep letting the shots go, because you know the one shake your leg. And that's here, away from getting stopped. Fighters have the conditioning to go the distance, no problem. They also have the power to end this with one punch. Middleweight always gives us a class. If you've got two class middleweight fighters, you're in for action. I'm quite sure right now, if you know your boxing, there's a certain fighter, Mr. Mr. I would just say marvelous, but some fighters were unbelievable middleweight. He couldn't 
take it anymore. And down goes St. George. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they'll make it up, and this fight continues. He's rolled the dice. He's coming up aces here. But can he seal the deal? George Groves finally crumbles to the canvas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. At some point, the corner may have to intervene here because this fighter, St. George, is down. Congratulations. What a build-up. What a journey towards this fight. What a fight itself. The crowd enjoyed it. The fighters enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed it. And what a way to end the fight. There's no mistake there about who won. What a shot.